Hello you guys, it is Monday and welcome to another weekly vlog. It's actually technically probably Tuesday at this point. It's a little bit late. But I am so proud of myself, I got so much done today. Most of my day was pretty much just spent here with my laptop doing editing stuff. I have two videos coming out. I just published one and the other one is scheduled to go up tomorrow at like 5.30. So wow is that a huge weight off my chest. I'm having laptop issues so it's been difficult but other than that I pretty much haven't done much today. I woke up realized that the nurse was coming to access my port today and so I took a shower. She came, she accessed, I ran my fluids, I got my videos done and I'm going to bed. Tomorrow I have physical therapy and because I got all my videos done finally, I get to start on my Etsy orders. It's like a little reward for myself. I have to say though, I'm really not feeling super great and I think that it's definitely that change that we've been making with my hydrocortisone. I'm wondering if the dose of steroids that I was on was just what my body needed and now it's angry. I've still been tracking my vitals. Hopefully that gives us a little bit of insight into what is going on here. Not to mention, I don't know if you guys are struggling too, but like my allergies are killing me. You can kind of hear it in my voice. Luckily I'm not as stuffy and my eyes aren't as bad right now because I'm on like a million antihistamines. But oh gosh, allergy season, man. The struggle's real. And like, of course, when I get seasonal allergies, it's not the same as like everybody else. I have sores all in my mouth and in my throat. One of my mast cell meds, they're in these little ampules and you're supposed to, if you're a normal person, mix them in with liquid and then drink them. But I've always just put them through the tube because that's where I put all my other meds. And I'm wondering if I should maybe try mixing it with my water and drinking it because maybe that would help in my mouth and throat. It's Kremlin sodium, so if you guys are familiar with that, it's a very localized medication, so it really only helps the areas that it touches. I have to do like the one for my stomach, and then I do a nasal spray and a nebulizer. There's also eye drops, and you can make lotion out of it, just wherever you need it. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe I will try putting it in my mouth or mixing it in with my water and see what happens. Hello guys, welcome to Tuesday. Just got out of my PT and I gotta say, my body is not feeling good. I'm starting to have a lot of problems with my hormones, which is something that was pretty well controlled for a while. I'm on multiple hormonal medications. I guess every EDS patient feels a little bit differently about hormones, but for me, if I don't keep them very, very level, my pots, my mast cell, and especially my joint laxity gets so much worse. So today, like my pelvis was so far off. It was like on my sciatic nerve. It was on like the nerves connected to my bladder. I was just absolutely miserable. Couldn't sleep, just couldn't even move. Everything hurt. I like dislocated my finger trying to pull my sheets up and then punch myself in the face. I'm starting to develop hand tremors and I'm just wiped out. My body can't do it. Maybe I need a higher dose. It's really hard to know what your right dose is without just trying. Up until today, I was really just like, okay, we'll see what happens. We'll talk to my doctor. Today, I'm like, I'm just going back on my regular dose and seeing if it helps. And if it does, I guess that's our answer. For now at least. Maybe there's just too much going on with my body right now. And it was a little too soon to go down on the dose. And we can try again in a few months. All I know is I can't live like this. My quality of life is decreasing and it's starting to affect other things. So that's my little spiel on that. It was funny though today because when I walked in, Trish was like staring at my shirt. And I thought that something was wrong because she did that last week and I had like my feeding tube was leaking and you could see it on my shirt. So I was like, oh no, is the feeding tube leaking again? And then I looked down and I'm wearing my no touchy shirt and she was like, mm, sorry you came all this way. It was just funny. I didn't really think about putting this on right before I go to manual therapy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just bought this. I already got sweater fuzz all over it, my goodness. I bought 
this seat cushion for my sister because she gets super, super uncomfortable in the car because of her tethered cord. It has like a cutout where your bum, where your uh, tailbone goes. And so you sit like this. My mom put this in the car this morning instead of my wheelchair pad that I have been using. And I figured I'd try it out. And oh my gosh, it is like life changing. If you guys have a hard time on car rides and if you're in pain and even, my, I mean my cousin Taylor, she has one sort of like this and she just brought it to the show the other night when we went to see a show. Honestly, best purchase ever. We all like tried it out when we first got it in the front room and I'm telling you, we're gonna be like a family who travels with like four butt cushions. <laughs> Once you try the butt cushion, you can never go back. Hello, you guys. We are just getting home now. And I am going to just have to message my doctor and let her know that I am going to be taking my old dose of steroids again. At least for today or the next few days. Because this is just... I can't keep doing this. I can't keep functioning like this. It just kind of feels like you're coming down with the flu and you can't think and you just can't move. It's so tiring and everything starts to get off and you just, I don't know, it's, it's getting into the danger zone here and I'm not going to play with it anymore. For those of you who might not have seen some of my other videos, I have something called adrenal insufficiency which basically is exactly what it sounds like. My adrenals just don't work very well. They especially are quite bad at making the steroid cortisol, which yes, your body naturally makes steroids. When you hear steroids, you might think of like super buff guys and athletes and performance enhancing drugs, but really your body makes steroids naturally. And of course, it's something that my body just can't do. Therefore, I have to take them. They have a medical replacement for that, which is a steroid hydrocortisone. And it's very, very important because it's what helps your body handle stress. It's kind of like adrenaline. And if you don't have it, you can pretty much go into shock and die quickly. So <laughs> it's important that you stay on top of the right dosing, but you don't want to take too many steroids because steroids also lower your immune system, make it harder for fusion to take place, which is bad because I have new fusions in my body. My neck is still healing, my knee is still healing. So you don't want to be on too much, you don't want to be on too little. We've been trying to get me on the lowest dose possible for me to function and I think we've gone too low. At this point, it's having a really negative effect on my entire body and on my joints especially. Trish today was like, I have never seen your joints so loose before. She really wouldn't even let me do any exercises because she was like, you are in such bad shape. I can't trust you not to collapse. We don't know if I have like a primary Addison's disease causing this. The theory right now is that my problem is because all of the pressure in my head and all of the damage. So anyway, um, I think I'm annoying everybody by vlogging right now. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hook up to my saline and I'm going to take a rest because I think that's what I really need right now. I cannot physically push myself any farther without serious repercussions. Just gives me an excuse to go watch Netflix, I guess. Hi guys, it is Wednesday and it looks like I have completely given up on trying to like look presentable for my vlogs. I just refuse to take off this like head towel thing that I found because it just like redistributes the weight of my wet hair so much better on my head than like the clips I use. My hair was like breaking off like here because I was just always wearing it up so I'm trying out this new hair towel thing. But anyway, it is Wednesday evening and I'm about to head to bed. I had a really rough night last night. It was not good. We were bordering on adrenal crisis. I was just like shaking and feeling like I was losing consciousness. I got up to go to the bathroom and just ended up sitting in front of the bathroom on the floor because I was too weak to walk another foot. <laughs> so last night was really rough. Today has been just a recovery day. 
I actually finished the third season of that show, Bold, that I was watching, so I get to cancel my seven day subscription and not pay any money. I also crocheted up all of the flowers that I need for a commissioned afghan for the customer. So this is what they look like. They look like fried eggs right now, but I promise you that they are flowers. <sighs> anyway. I gotta go. I have some really exciting plans tomorrow with some really exciting people who I haven't met in person before. So I'm pretty psyched. I always love meeting new people and making new friends. Yeah, I'm really excited. So I just have to get all of my stuff ready for tomorrow because you just never know how you're gonna feel when you get up. I refuse to ever leave anything to the last minute. Hey guys, guess where I am? Can you say hi? Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey Hi. guys, <laughs> I'm Mary. You guys probably know Mary. This is Jen. Hi, I'm Jen. They came <laughs> over tonight and we have just been hanging out. It's been fun. Can I run in front you. of you? It oh, is do you want the red light on? Extremely awkward vlogging in front of vloggers. <laughs> but I think oh, it's okay. I think it's more awkward vlogging in front of non-vloggers. True. Because yeah. they don't get it. You get it. I get it. Like Do you get a lot of weird stares? Just everywhere you go. I think I'm kind of used to it because one, I have a service dog. Yeah, true. So I already get stares. True. So I'm used to that. But yeah. I kind of don't care anymore. At some point, you just <laughs> you just stop caring. Yeah, you're just like, yep, I've got a camera and I'm talking to it. <laughs> but it is kind of funny because normal people don't carry cameras around. They just have their phones. Right. Actually, one of my doctors the other day was like, oh, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then, like, I mean, everyone, like, if they see these, like, they're like, oh, are you a vlogger? Oh, like, really? what's your channel? Yeah, because yeah. I went to the grocery store the That's other awesome. day, and apparently, I walked out with my sister, and my mom was like, yeah, the girl was like, I saw her walking around with the camera. Is she vlogging? What's her channel? <laughs> That's like, was awesome. I on it? <laughs> Was I on it? <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not famous, sorry. Oh, okay, I think that's funny. We've had a really great night, and I think yeah. it's like, it's a very special dynamic just having a lot of unique things in common. Right. <laughs> and like, being able to deal with our medical stuff and not think like, oh, is it okay if I right. do this? Or, oh, I'm sorry about my cough. Or like, we don't, there's no, um, what's that word? Like when you're feeding two bleaks in someone's car. Right. Yeah. Like, no one's like, okay. oh, what's yeah. that? Yeah, so literally, I've never met Jen before, but we talked online, and she's so sweet. And she came to pick me up, because I'm on her way. And I literally, I sat down in her car. The second I sat down, like, my feeding tube just started, like, leaking everywhere. And I was just like... Hi, nice to meet you. I'm gonna run back in the house now. <laughs> Glad I didn't get on anything important. It, it was just like the outside of the car and like me, but. <laughs> so then just, did you have to change? Um, was it like all over you? Luckily it was like I mostly, up, yeah. it was mostly contained. Nice. To like my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. quick change. That would be kind of weird to explain to a brand new yeah. friend. <laughs> Oh, you have a hole in your abdomen? What? Yeah. Oh, and, and you guys are like weird. such medical nerds. It's oh, like, yeah. it's not like, oh, sorry, let me go like go off and do this. You gotta be like, oh, show me. <laughs> let me see. Oh, let me see. Where's your shot? So, like, yeah. yeah. It's been really nice. And I'm gonna say goodbye so we can have more time together. Yeah. So, bye. Bye. I just got home and mom's baking some little gluten-free apple pies for my sister, but oh my gosh, this is the best smell in the entire world. <laughs> it just smells like straight up fall. Oh my gosh, if there were a candle that smelled exactly like this, I feel like they're always doing like apple cinnamon and apple spice, but it's never just one thing that I love. right. I haven't used them yet because I just love it. Look at how a lot of the apples grow. Oh. They, they share like the same. Oh my gosh, it's like the little apple snowman. Yeah, it's like their little stems are together, but I never realized that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like a little apple. <laughs> Do you guys go apple picking? Because I was talking to Trish the other day, and we are talking about apple picking. And I realized that it might just kind of be like a New England thing. 
I'm not quite sure if it's a thing all over, but you guys will have to tell me in the comments because that's like our favorite thing, like our favorite fall memories where like going apple picking as a thing. I don't know, I just like never really thought about it before, but I guess maybe, you know, apples don't grow all over the country at this time of year. You it's... think this is too many apples? <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo>. Uh... <laughs> Yes. Good morning, people. It is Friday. So that is right. We are off to PT. My sister's coming, and also we have out of town friends who've been coming to see Trish, and her appointment is right before my appointment. So we're going to get to hang out in the waiting room a little bit and catch up which is always fun. Waiting rooms are honestly the best. I can't even tell you. I actually think I met this friend in a waiting room, <laughs> but I can't even tell you how many of like my closest EDS friends I've just met in waiting rooms. I guess that's one of the perks of having a chronic illness. You can always tell, especially at PT, because the people at physical therapy are either old people or like young girls in a neck brace. Sorry, I am exhausted. Last night was so wonderful, but definitely tiring. It's kind of still just like sinking in that I finally got to meet these friends that I've been following their stories for so long, especially Mary. She was always my nebulizer buddy. When I started to have to do nebulizer treatments, I would just watch their video when I did my treatments. And honestly, like it just made me look forward to doing my treatments because I wanted to check in with them. And from there, it's just been a really beautiful journey i gotta say it's just it's hard to find like good female friends sometimes or just friends in general you know i have like a lot of very unique aspects of my life being chronically ill and vlogging and just not being able to eat and not being able to work not being able to go to school the whole experience has forced me to be a little bit more grown up and mature than maybe some other people my age. But in other ways, it's completely stunted me. I never learned to drive, I never went to college, I didn't have those experiences. So I find it hard to relate to people sometimes. And so just getting to know and hanging out with people who truly understand every single one of those aspects of my life, it was, it was really special. But now it is time to head out. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey there you guys, it is a lot later now and I'm headed off to bed, but we just had a really nice movie night. We watched Murder on the Orient Express, which was really good. I'm Do you want to be on the... Her. She like loves the detective. He was Gilderoy Lockhart in Harry Potter. Yeah, the guy who plays like the detective, D Hi. Detective Perrault. Is it Perrault? Is that how you say it? But like the guy who plays the detective in this movie was the guy who played Gilderoy Lockhart in Harry Potter and Lauren's like in love with him. They had like so many people in it. It had Johnny Depp, it had um, Leslie Odom Jr., Michelle Pfeiffer, just like literally um, everybody. What's her face? Cruz? Penelope? Uh, Penelope Cruz, Cruz, Daisy, shoot. I don't know, but she's really pretty. It was really good, but it kind of ruined the book for me because I was halfway through the book, but that's okay. I think I still want to read Daisy the book. Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley, yeah. She's she so was the one from pretty. Star Wars, so. But anyway, yeah, today was a really good day. We had, we both did. We both had good physical therapy sessions, and then we got to hang out with my friend who was there from out of town. Trish just kind of gave us an empty room, and we just hung out and talked. It was really nice. Hopefully I'm going to see her again on Tuesday before she leaves. But yeah, no. I'm kind of running on empty. I'm surprised how much I've been able to do these last couple weeks. Like, I'm just, I'm really feeling a whole lot better. But there's a line, and I'm getting close to it, and I still have a lot coming up. I just painted my fingernails turquoise. I'm off to a Dysautonomia International Pots walk tomorrow in the Boston area, so I am pretty excited about that, but I need to go get to bed because I have to wake up at like 7 in the morning. It's supposed to be like pretty nice out tomorrow, but it might be cold kind of in the morning. I have no idea. I'm not really used to being awakened oh in the morning time good morning you guys it is the morning of the pots walk for dysautonomia international and i woke up super early i had my outfit all picked out 
got dressed, got all ready, and I was just filling up my feed bag for the day, and it completely burst all over me, all over my bed, all over the floor, I mean, all over me. And so, <laughs> we just threw everything in the wash. Don't know if it's going to be ready in time. I might have to wear something else. But I was just like fully, fully ready. And now I'm back at square one. Hopefully the day only gets better from here. Well guys, it looks like we're gonna make it. Uh, my clothes are still a little bit damp. They went through a quick wash cycle and about half a dryer cycle, but that's okay. This looks like it's gonna rain anyway. <laughs> I honestly don't know whose idea it was to have like a walk for pots, like especially like a 5k, but uh, I'm at least glad it's not hot. It'll definitely be interesting to see how many of us are actually walking and how many of us are rolling. My plan is to get up and walk as much as I can, but I don't even think I can like walk half a k, so I'm going to be mostly rolling. Part of these get-togethers, meeting others. Oh, online? Follow on Instagram. Yeah. Really funny. Okay, we showed up with the exact same two clips. We had the same name, and it's spelled the same way. You're both Christina. You both have the same two clip. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Raise your hand if you have pots. Everybody. No surprise. Uh, raise your hand if you have Ehlers Danlos syndrome. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, everybody, but yeah, Taylor's not sure yet. How about mast cell activation syndrome? Two. Gastroparesis? Um, adrenal insufficiency? Sjogren's? Small fiber neuropathy? Keep it up there. <laughs> uh, what else did I forget? Raynaud's? Uh, anything else? Oh, look, you. Okay, so these are the two Christinas with the matching two clips, and look at your nails. Ray. Christina. <laughs> I guess I have to be more specific. Christina Doherty. There, I can't see your nails the way you're doing that. The other way. There you go. <laughs> all right, say goodbye. Bye. And did you all do the 5K or who did the one mile? Uh, I think we all did a variation. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, there were plenty of little. Uh, shortcuts or whatever. <laughs> little little alternative routes. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Look at how cool this is. This playground has like a sign language chart. 
All right, let's see. I can't figure out which one looks less terrifying. I can't get up from that far down. Okay, Christini. You gotta have some fun, huh? Okay. She's trying to figure out which slide is this one the least dangerous. <laughs> Oh, speed bumps will be good. <laughs> I'd say go on the slow slide. <laughs> I'm just the nervous mother. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did it. That was fun. Oh, you. Oh, Trish will be ha proud of you for getting up. I was really scared for that one. <laughs> I was really scared. <laughs> All right, so we just left the Potts Walk, which was fantastic. It was so nice. I got to meet a lot of new faces today, and I hope that some of us are able to keep in touch since we live so close together. My mom just went to Trader Joe's, and we are headed home. I'm really distracted because this is this burger place right there, and they have a car that looks like a hamburger, and <laughs> it's so cool. I'm gonna try to get it on video when we go by but it reminds me of like that scene in the Spongebob movie. That was like our favorite movie ever, but it reminds me of like the Krabby Patty car in the Spongebob movie. I'm gonna try to get on video. We're like about to drive by. There it is. Isn't that amazing? lovely people and welcome to my Sunday. I'm not feeling super great today. After yesterday, even though I really didn't walk for most of the walk, I did walk a little bit and I'm feeling very sore. I'm sore in muscles that I didn't really know that I had, but I'm actually kind of excited about that because I've been working a lot with Trish to try to learn to engage certain muscle groups and I found out that I really couldn't engage a lot of different important muscles that I just hadn't had to use. Recently, since we got the shunt right, I feel like we're making a lot more progress to recognize what I'm even trying to do and then executing it. So when I was walking yesterday, I felt like I was really engaging a lot of the muscles in my hips and in my butt, <laughs> for lack of better terms, which I hadn't been able to do before. Even though it hurts to move today, I'm actually pretty excited about that. But I'm just so glad in general that we went to that walk. It's what I've wanted to do from the very beginning to get more involved in that kind of thing. And up until now, that really wasn't an option for me as I, number one, couldn't walk. <laughs> but number two just really wasn't home. I've spent the majority of the last five years of my life just traveling back and forth and not really knowing any kind of schedule and not being able to commit to anything at all. So getting to do this was not only special because I got to support my cousin and because I got to support one of my own conditions and get to meet a bunch of new people, but it just felt like the start of a new part of my recovery. So yeah, I'm excited to do more events like that. I wanna do some meetups if that's possible for anyone who is local. It was so amazing getting to hang out with Jen and Mary this week. I felt like just it was the perfect kind of fellowship and it was exactly what I needed in my life. This online thing that we have going is so fantastic and I absolutely love our community. And I love the way that I can interact with you guys until recently it's all I was able to really do but there's really really something to say for our good physical real in the moment friendships and events and I know that I live in a really good location for this kind of thing so a lot of you are probably like well it would be nice wouldn't it and I understand that and I think that's so sad and Unfortunately, you know, it might have to start with you. If you can't find a support group or an awareness event or other patients in your area, then I would honestly recommend contacting one of these big name organizations like Dysautonomia International or CSF 
or a Lyrus Danlos Society or the Dysautonomia Support Network and just see if maybe you're missing something in your area and if you're not how you would go about starting a chapter. The walk that I went on yesterday in my area isn't just happening here and they're happening all over the country and they're being hosted by different people who are willing to just put that time and effort into organizing these events. And you may even be surprised that there are other people in your area who are looking for the same things and just never had the resources. So as much as it stinks if you don't have these things in your local area, that does not mean that you can never have these things. And if you guys want to sponsor me for the walk that I just went on and came in literal last place for, then I can put the donation link down below. It's under my cousin's name, Team Taylor, as she also has POTS and we were there to support her. Now I know a lot of you guys are in the same situation with medical stuff and you just don't have the money to give. Please, please, this kind of thing is supposed to be raising money for you guys. Don't feel like you have to like donate some huge sum. Especially like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these things. Hopefully with a little bit more of a warning. I know usually you do like the fundraising before the walk, but I'm fundraising after the walk because I had literally zero idea until we like left if I was going to be able to pull this off at all. The link will be down there. If you're in a position where you can donate, that's great. If you're not, then I totally get that. If everyone who watches my videos every single week would just give a dollar, we'd have probably like $5,000, which is kind of awesome and crazy to think about. So the link will be down there. The other downfall though of going to the walk was that that meant going outside, which I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's allergy season. I woke up and was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I don't go out in public in the fall, but it was worth it. I told you guys already that I was thinking of maybe swishing and swallowing one of my oral mass out medications. So I'm actually gonna do that now. It's my crumlin sodium. I'm sure a lot of you guys are on it if you have mass out. If not, you should try it because it's kind of a miracle for a lot of us. I have this four times a day. It goes directly into my stomach and I never ever worry about it. But my throat and my tongue are like the most reactive parts of my body. So, I don't know, I'm nervous. <laughs> That's stupid. But I think you guys with mast cell and allergies and well, probably anybody would understand that if you're prone to having allergic reactions from really random things, that just changing anything in your routine is kind of scary. <laughs> Here we go, in the name of science and my sanity. This is actually how this medication is supposed to be taken anyway. So, pretty sure I'm not gonna die. I wonder what this tastes like. I literally have not had to worry about that in years. All right, well, with that, I think it's time to end this video for the week. If you liked this video, it'd be cool if you gave it a thumbs up to let me know. I make videos like this every single week. If you want to be notified about when I do, you can hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell and it'll tell you every time I upload a new video, which rocks. And don't forget that I am still running a giveaway for one of those big U-shaped body pregnancy pillows. So go check that out. I'll have the giveaway link right below here. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye guys.